This short animated video explains the basic concept of type 1 error and type 2 error in hypothesis testing. We'll also look at the relationship between alpha and beta and how to calculate power in the statistics. Now, making a statistical decision always involves some kind of risk. And this risk in hypothesis testing we classify in terms of type 1 error and type 2 error. To understand it a little bit more, let's look at this graphics. On the y axis, we have the verdict in the form of whether the person should be jailed or set free. On the x axis, we have the truth in the form of whether he is innocent or guilty. So, if someone who is innocent should be set free, that is the correct decision. Now, if someone who is innocent, who is jailed, that is not the correct decision. That is the type 1 error or alpha error. We call it the level of significance, also known as the false positive. So, if alpha or the level of significance is 5%, that means out of 100, every 5 will be occurred due to chance. Examples of type 1 error could be rejecting the good parts or the producer's risk or jailing someone who is innocent. Now let us look at the other one. Someone who is guilty should be jailed. That is the correct decision. But someone who is guilty, if you set that person free, that is not the correct error. That, that is, we call it the type 2 error or beta error. We call this as false negative. That is the error made by accepting or retaining a false null hypothesis. Let's look at the relationship between alpha, beta and power. Alpha and beta have inverse relationship. That means as alpha decreases, your beta will increase. So this is the common relationship between alpha and beta. Now let us look at what is power here. The so power of a hypothesis test. So power of a study is the probability of not committing a type 2 error or a beta error. Or in other words, it is a probability that the test will correctly support the alternative hypothesis. So power is calculated as 100% minus type 2 error that is beta or 1 minus beta into 100. So if you talk about the power, the power of a hypothesis lies between 0 and 1. The standard power that we normally take is 0.8. So if your power is close to 1, that means it is good at detecting a false null hypothesis. And if it is very close to zero, that is, it is not very good at detecting a false null hypothesis. Let's take an example here. Let's say, like for a for five percent uh, alpha, that is, ninety-five percent confidence, my power would be one minus beta. So in this case, we are getting one minus twenty percent, that is the or eighty percent power. That is how you calculate beta power, and that is the relationship between alpha, beta, and power.